I'm going to show you guys how to create that text effect that you just saw. It's super easy to do and it looks really nice, so it's a good one to know. So the first thing we'll do is come over to layer new and we'll create a new text layer. Then we will type in whatever text you like. Um, so I normally use over here caviar dreams. It's better to use text that is thinner and sharper than like thicker and more bold. Okay, it always looks a bit nicer this way. Then we will go over to align, click on the align horizontal and then click on the proportional grid over here. Hit P on the text layer and drag it down. So it's just in line with this bottom grid line here. Okay, then we'll turn off proportional grid. If you want to change the size of your text, just double click on the layer and come over here and just select the font size to what you whatever you like. Okay, then we're going to add our effects. So we're going to type in deep glow, drag that onto the text, click on this tick box here, unmult. Then we're going to search in drop shadow or we'll drag that onto the text layer. Then we'll make the opacity 100%. Okay, now we're going to add the effect. So what we have to do is click on this drop down arrow on the text layer, click on animate, blur, and then you see animator one, and we're going to click on the add property and opacity. Okay, we're going to change the opacity to 0% and the blur to around 20%. Okay, next I'll show you here, we'll click on the range selector and we'll click on advanced and then you see here based on characters that's what we're going to use today but if you change if you click on this you'll see that you can change it to words or characters and spaces but so words is another nice one but i normally use just the characters here so that just means one character at a time will appear or the words would be one word at a time okay we'll close that advanced box there now we'll create the offset so we're going to find where they start to speak or where you want the text to begin. Drop your offset keyframe at 0%. Then find where you want it to finish. Okay, and put the next keyframe for offset uh, at 100%. And you'll see that that creates this effect here. So we'll play that. Okay. Now, to get a little bit more technical, is if they if you want the words to pause or if the character is speaking and they they pause in the in the line and then they continue on later what you would do so if in this case let's say i just said want and then i waited a while i'll find where the, the just the one word is finished and i'll see that the offset that's 23 percent so if i come all the way over here drop a keyframe make it 23 percent you'll see that it's still just this one it's just doing this word in this whole space here. Then it will continue on to finish the rest of the sentence, right? So that's just how you get a little bit more customizable with your text. You can keep on dropping keyframes at whatever percentage you want. So it lines up better with the, the character talking or however you want the text to look. Okay. Now, just lastly, I'm going to show you how to add that little turbulent displace or that little wave warp looking effect we're going to go over to the search search in turbulent displace make sure you add this one under distort add that onto the layer change the amount to about 40 and the size to about let's say 30 you can change this whatever you prefer okay then we're going to drop the key marker at the same so if i hit u on the um text layer here I can see my other key markers so I'm going to drop the evolution at zero and then I'm going to go to the end and drop it at about let's say 400 for the evolution so you will again customize that as you want to and then you'll see here if I play this <laughs> that little warping wave effect there so what increases that is this evolution percentage um, you can just make it yeah more or less will be how fast or how slow it sort of shakes or wiggles throughout and that's it super easy to do um, now if you want new text fonts just search up daffont.com online just d-a-f-o-n-t.com and it has different text fonts for you there's heaps there um, you just find one you like and install it and it'll, it'll go straight to your after effects um, and that's it for this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments what tutorial you want to see next. And thanks for watching.